everybody, it's Gail from the thehappystamper.com. How are you today? Happy Sunday. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. I've got a really cute card for you today that I wanted to share, and I think you're going to really like this. So let me show you what we're going to be using, and then I'll show you the card. All right, you're going to need some little rhinestones. I apply these with just my little... Um, poker doohickey. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called, but it's very sharp. Uh, this is going to be all about the beautiful Berry Burst, one of my favorite colors. And this is also one of the cards that is in the free kit with purchase that you receive from me every month. This is one of the cards that's going to be in that, and I also shared uh, the gable box that is also part of this kit. So kits started to go out um, this past Saturday. So if you've placed your online order with me and used a hostess code, it will be coming very soon. Okay, so the card again is going to be one of the cards in the kit. I'm using today, this is a beautiful stamp set that I don't reach for enough, but I did today and it's the Happy Birthday Gorgeous. It's got so much that you can use for so many different occasions and I love stamp sets that have the images plus a lot of sentiments. But if you look closely, the I love you sentiment here is so pretty. I just love the font. Everything is like raised up. It's super duper pretty. I just, all of it is really unusual and unique. So I'm going to be using the I love you um, sentiment from that stamp set. I'm also going to be using, this is our woodland texture embossing folder. Can't do the project without berry burst. I'm going to leave that close. <laughs> and then I'm going to be using our berry burst ribbon, and I love that too. And then you'll just need your scissors. Now, I am using our old Framelit Hearts set, and... Um, we have a new set uh, in the annual catalog, uh, but this is the one that I am going to be using. So, oh, not that one, the third one. All right, so that's what I'll be using. And then, of course, we'll be using our Big Shot. So let's bring that in here now. And let me just move that out of the way. Oh, as far as cardstock, and let me show you the colors. Gosh, I'm getting ahead of myself here. I am going to be using the Berry Burst cardstock. And I am also using a piece of Whisper White. And also, this is a piece of our Fresh Florals Designer Series paper. I'm going to be using this side, but I just wanted to show it to you on that side. You could do either way, and it's just beautiful. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Love the color. And we have a new um, ribbon that just came out that is the Berry Burst, but it also has silver metallic thread along the edge. It's stunning. And that is, you'll get some of that to make the ribbon with the gable box. All right, so this is going to be what's known as a portrait style card, and it's going to open this way today. All right, so let's set that aside. I am going to start with, let me just move that, our Whisper White cardstock. And I'm going to bring in the Big Shot here. And I am going to, I've got my multi-purpose uh, platform here. This is the older one. Mine flips. The new one, you can just put them on and take them off. Uh, so that is on a list of things to, each. now that I dropped that, things to get on my wish list. And now is a great time to get it because of celebration and are you guys not loving all of it oh my gosh I love so much of it oh it's just it's so hard you know to um decide because there's so many cute things so I'm going to run this through and I'm putting my heart uh, a little bit more towards the top than not and I'm going to just run that through 
like so. And I'm going to save this heart for another project. So that's kind of a twofer there. All right, so I'm going to set this aside here. And then I am going to use my woodland and texture, textured embossing folder. I'm going to turn mine this way. Um, and then I'm going to run it through like this. This made me think of, when I was thinking about cards and things, it made me think of, you know how people kind of carve their initials in trees? Actually, my husband and I did it on a bridge when we were dating uh, where we used to live. And so that's what made me think of it, you know, Valentine's Day and this woodland texture folder because that's what people do. Um, I hate to say it, but they deface public property. No, I mean, it's, you know, they'll carve their initials in a tree or something like that. But yeah, so that is it for the big shot today. And the rest is really simple. And we'll just put this cutie pie together. All right, so I'll bring in my ribbon and I'm going to use... Gotta have a little bit of bling. And then of course I've got my scissors. So what I want to do, I guess I'll put my ribbon on first. And I'm just going to lay out how much, isn't this just a beautiful color? Gosh, it is so pretty. It really is just that pretty. And it's just, it's a fun way to add a little different Valentine's colors instead of always being red and white, which I do love. And I worked on projects using red and white today. So you'll be seeing some of those things coming. We're going to use the Berry Burst ink pad. And I've already mounted my stamp here that says, I love you. The font on this is fabulous. And I'm going to put this right there. I got right on my little uh, tree branches there. You could go back in with the berry burst and line it. I don't think I'm going to do that right now, though. I think it's fine. I'm not going to worry about it. You can clearly read it. All right, so... As I was saying, you could use either side of this. Either side would be really pretty. Either way would be lovely. I just kind of liked it on this side. So that's the one I'm going to choose to do this with. And this is a four by four piece of designer series paper. If you were curious about that measurement. And then I'm just going to line this up like so. Perfect. And then I'm just going to adhere this to the front of my card. And it is just that quick and simple. But boy, the color is just scrumptious. One of my favorites. This would be an amazing uh, Oh, I guess I didn't cut this to make a border at the bottom. Well, that's all right. It's just going to go all the way to the top then. I kind of like that too. Yeah. This would be a gorgeous lipstick. Gorgeous. It's totally my kind of a pink with a little bit of blue in it. So, so pretty. And then we'll just pull that tight. Give it a little snip, add a little rhinestone, and you are good to go. Voila! It's just that simple and super cute. Oh my goodness. Darling! So here you have, whoops, here you have the first card that I did off camera, and here you have the second card. Um, and on this one, I reversed my embossing folder, so the embossing actually goes down, which makes it easier to 
stamp on, if that makes any sense. So there you have it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this card and this quick and easy tutorial. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Welcome, and you will stay up to date on all of my videos. So thanks again for visiting with the Happy Stamper. As always, great big hugs from me to you. And keep your eyes out. I'll have another video for you coming up shortly. All right, guys, take care. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great week. Bye-bye.